Okay, welcome back again. We're gonna do conditionals today, uh, or if statements, if sentences, however you're gonna, how are we gonna call it. So what we're gonna do is is to delete all the code we had in, in, in the prior video in the main function. And, and basically we're gonna do something called an if statement. So I'm gonna type if, and if is <clears throat> the actual question you're gonna ask. If what you're gonna ask. So the basic idea is gonna ask a question, and 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 if you can look at this as a real world scenario, you're gonna say if you are older than 21 years old, you can get access, else you cannot. That is the 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 actual you know sentence. But think about it this way, you know. If you are the 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 doorman or if it's the bodyguard or, or the guard, I'm gonna say the guard at at, at the at the club, <clears throat> then basically you need to see if if whatever person is going to enter the club is actually 20, 21 years old or older. That is an actual function that that guard is doing. So the function of the guard is to say yes or no, or to can you get access or can you not get access by verifying some 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 age. So Let's now assume that we have an age. We're going to create an integer variable, we'll call it age, and we're going to write 21. That is my age. And now we're going to ask the question uh, with the variables. And we can change this, you know, and run the program and see different results. So we're going to say if, and I'm going to do parentheses. And this, this is um, this is just to encapsulate. You need to do it. It's a syntax thing. So whenever you're gonna write, you know, uh, code, you always need to follow a set of rules called a syntax. You know, and and the syntax is basically telling you how to write your code and how to which signs you need to use in order for the compiler, which is the program that that takes all your code and, and create a, a another program with that that can be executed, right? So we're gonna ask the question if h is larger than or equal to and then we can just write the actual literal age 21 here just to be easy and then we're going to create you saw that another scope which is the um the curly braces and then we can say sorry print out you can get access so let's try and run this code here now. So if we make this correct, you we should say is the age 21 is that larger or equal to 21? The answer would be yes. In in the computer, that's only something called true or false. So this is going to be evaluated to a true condition. Let's run it. And as you can see, it's going to say you can get access. Now we can try and change that to 20. Now we're 20 years old and run the code again. And now it's basically not saying we cannot get access. So we need to add something to this uh, conditional statement and it's gonna be an else in this occasion. And you can add the else basically like that. And you can say you cannot get access. Now, the else part here acts as an, <coughs> as, a, as, as, as the, um, um, if, this, uh, if this isn't true, everything else will be uh, diverted to else so whatever is going on if this is not evaluated to true this will be called every time so we can say that you you, can, you cannot get access so let's say i'm i'm 23 years old and we're going to run again <clears throat> you can see it's only going to execute this here line 11 basically because it says you can get access okay so only one of the two lines here can be executed or all the lines inside the scope of this all that okay so so we can of course have more code in here and stuff that is totally fine but just to see keep it simple uh, simple right now so what is wrong with this code now what is wrong with this code is that you have this static age set here so if, if every time you need to run the code you need to actually uh, alter uh, a literal value like this is something is wrong. So you could sh should actually create another value and call it um, access age <laughs> 21 and actually just replace that variable right there. And then you have the age, uh, the, the, uh, a more dynamic way for the program to, to act saying if age is equal to, uh, sorry, larger than or equal to the access age, then we can either get access or you cannot get access. This is a conditionals. Uh, this is how you, do, how you create conditionals. 
and this is the most easy version of it. However, what if we are so so this is one rule. This is rule one. Okay, let's like, okay, so say this is rule one. But the the club have have something called rule two. So it's gonna say if you if you are younger than twenty one and no younger than eighteen, uh, you have access for one hour. That is a specific type of rule here. So if you are in between 18 and 20, you can still get access for just one hour. Now we're going to add this rule to our if statement. So the condition is is, is going to be added. <clears throat> it is not going to be added in the else statement. This is like a like the the final if if the actual you know rule is not true, then we're just going to say ah, deny by default. What we're going to do here? Imagine. Uh, pay attention to what I do now. I press enter one time. I'm gonna add if, sorry, else if, and we're gonna add another uh, conditional. So basically, what we have here is if, just the same as as this block here. So we're gonna add if parentheses and two curly braces, and the else is because we're gonna say if else if else if. So if you're going to do that, else you're going to do that, else if you're going to do that, it is the way of, of programming languages to, 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 to ask multiple questions within the same conditional block. And conditional block is really good because it can only execute one condition. Either this condition or this condition here, else the default condition in the bottom. You can only have one else, you can have only have one if, and you can have as many else ifs as you want to. So you can say if, else if, else if, else if, else if, as many times you like, and then in the end, you can choose to do an else, or you can choose not to, that is up to you. So the question is going to be basically like this, if the age is younger than, so instead of saying larger than, we're going to say younger than, it's going to be that, younger than uh, access age. So if it is below, and we're not gonna say equal to because that will actually say if 21 is, you can always just test it out, you know, say it out loud. It's so easy then to say, oh, if that's what it means. So just let 21, if 21 is less than 21. Hmm, doesn't work that way, right? So let's say, let's let's test this out. Let's, let's, let's say we are 20. And let's just basically say you have access for one hour. Then just run this program. And what it says down here is you have access for one hour. And we did expect this because we did say if you're younger than 21, that is the first part of the sentence. And we are now 20. What if, what if I'm 18 then? Okay, let's see. You still have active for one hour. What if I'm 17? Now this shouldn't work because it's saying no younger than. Then we're gonna say, hmm, oh, I still have access. So we need to add something to our condition here. And this is this is where we're gonna learn about concatenated conditions. This is a single uh, single condition asking if age is less than the access type. And, and basically it is. What could be added here? Now, there's a possibility for us to say and, so it's that that's two ampersand signs we're gonna put in. They're gonna and in a condition. Basically, this, this means that you can say if you are uh, over 21 years old and you wear a green hat. Mm, okay, so, so basically that, that would mean the sentence if you are younger than 21 and if you are uh, lower than uh, within the the not lower than 18 so we're gonna do that sentence so if you're gonna say that if you are younger than 21 that is here and you are not younger than uh, 18 how would you do that now we can we, we could probably say if if age then is larger 
than than what? Or is it lower than something? Now, think about what should we write here? So you probably guessed it. <clears throat> You could ask that if h is larger than that is the, probably a clever solution. You say if h is whoa, <laughs> if h is larger than seventeen, because but th th then we are going back to this you know literal value, which is seventeen. We could try and run this <coughs> and say you cannot get access because you're literally not in between twenty one and eighteen. If I'm then eighteen again. Basically, you can see now that I get access for an hour. So this would actually work. A way to get out of this would be to take this eight here and put it in and then say, what do we need to deduct from this? So we would have an exception age. So we would need to create another variable and you can call it uh, exception age. And that would be um, three. And then we could, in theory, just deduct that value right there. If you run the program again, you can say that we cannot get access. So we have something we didn't do right. So the problem here would be that we are, let's just, oops, you're saying access age minus the exception age which is gonna be 18, basically. So we're gonna say if h is larger than 18. Now, was that the right one? It was 17, it should be, right? So we need to type four now. And this is this is where it begins to get a little weird because <clears throat> it does work now. We have we have access, if I go 17 now, I'm 17, run, a ro ro run the program again, we cannot get access. So. I'm just basically showing you a way that as long as you're doing simple stuff like that, it, it looks really easy and beautiful. If you want to, if you want to have a, a lot of variables controlling a lot of values, like what is the maximum age? What is the minimum age? What is like the in-between age? That, you know, fine, create the variables, but eventually you're going to, you're going to end up with, with, with if statements like this saying like if this condition and that condition, and it's going to look weird because eh, it's just the way it is. And as, at some point you, you, you just end up in that alley, you know, it's just the way it is. Um, I wouldn't really say the, what is the best way to do this. This is a simple example and it doesn't really matter if this is the level of the program you're gonna do for a company, I would say, ah, whatever, like. <laughs> but you know, in, in the end, we're gonna do more complex programs and, and, and this tutorial, series is not going to go that far because it is only for you to get started with programming and for this you know you have many different you know um uh reasons and points to to grasp here and, and, and that would, would, would give you a lot you know beneficial uh practice for your study if you actually work with this so i i would suggest in this video you're gonna you know play around with the variables and, and basically um, get better at it. So take care.